Hey, what's up everyone? In today's video, we are going to take a look at how to use the PAR sensor and it's called a motion sensor. Basically, we can use it in so many applications. For example, we can turn on the light automatically when a person comes in front of this sensor or we could use it for an alarm system. We can turn on this buzzer when a person comes in front of the sensor and we've talked about buzzers in the previous video. Make sure to check it out. Basically, it generates a sound, like an alarm sound, and this one is called the active buzzer, which is very easy to use. We can turn it on by setting this pin to high. So with that being said, let's jump right into it. So first of all, we need to understand how this sensor works. Basically, it detects the infrared radiation that comes from a person or an animal. That's why it's called the PAR sensor, passive infrared. So it detects the infrared radiation from the objects that are in front of it. Also, we can change few parameters using these two potentiometers. This one, we use it to change the range of the uh, sensor. For example, if we want to detect an object, that is 5 meters from the sensor, we can change it from this potentiometer and it can go up to 7 meters and the second potentiometer, which is on the right side we can use it to change the delay time basically when this sensor detects an object it outputs 5 volts from the middle pin so if you take a look at this sensor you see that we have 3 pins and you could see that we have the VCC on the left side which we are going to connect to the 5 volts of the Arduino then we have the GND we are going to connect it to the GND of the Arduino and finally we have the output pin that outputs 5 volts when it detects an object and we can modify that time using this potentiometer for example we can turn on the lights for 3 minutes when the sensor detects a person or an animal and that's because these emit an infrared radiation that can be detected by this sensor also we have a jumper because we can use this sensor with two different ways we have the repeatable trigger and we have the non-repeatable trigger so if you move the jumper to this pin we will have a non-repeatable trigger and it works like this when the sensor detects a person or an animal it will output 5 volts from this output pin for a period of time, which we can set using this potentiometer. Then when the time is over, for example 3 minutes, this pin becomes low, even if the object's still in front of it. But if we activate the repeatable trigger, it's going to set this output to high, even when the time is over, if we have the object in front of it, it will continue outputting the 5 volts from this pin, now I'm going to show you how to use this sensor in two projects. The first one using the LED. We are going to turn on this LED automatically for a period of time that we can set using the potentiometer. And it's this one. The second one we use it to change the range of the sensor. Then we are going to make an alarm system using the buzzer. If a person comes in front of it, we are going to activate the active buzzer which generate a terrible sound by setting the pin to high. So let's start by hooking up our sensor to the Arduino. You will need these kind of wires, male to female. And let's connect our three pins, which are the VCC, the GND and the output pin. You could also check the pins from this side. As you can see, we have the VCC on the left side the output in the middle and the GND on the right side. So let's connect the GND, which is the purple wire, to the GND of the Arduino and the VCC, which is the green one, to the 5 volts. And finally we read the output from this pin, which is the middle one, we are going to connect this one to one of the digital pins because we can use the digital read command to read 1 when the pin is high and 0 when the pin is low and let's use the pin number 2 
and that's all what you need to hook up this uh, sensor now let's open up the Arduino IDE to check if the output is right first we need to add the pin number I'm gonna call it read pin we're going to read from this pin using the digital read command equals to and let's use it as an input under the setup function we write pin mode we give it the pin number then input and I'm gonna use the serial monitor to display the output value so we need to add serial dot begin then 9600 then let's go under the loop function which is called over and over again and let's use digital read it takes the read pin and it returns 1 when the output pin is high and 0 if it's low let's store it in another variable I'm gonna call it read value then let's use read value equals the digital read command and finally let's display the value of this variable using serial dot print ln then let's pass in read value then let's upload the code you could also verify it it's okay then let's open the serial monitor using tools serial monitor and you notice that we have the value 0 and if we go in front of it you see it outputs 1 and that's for a certain period of time that we can set using uh, one of the potentiometers I think this one we can use it to set the time and once the time is over it goes back to 0 so our sensor works now let's use it we just need to check if the value is 1 we are going to turn our LED on and if it's 0 we are going to turn it off so let's start by hooking up our LED to the Arduino we are going to use one of the digital pins to turn it on and off let's use the pin number 8 then let's add the ohm resistor and let's add our LED and finally we need to go back to the ground we have this GND pin that we can use make sure it's in the same column to connect the GND of the Arduino to this leg of the LED now let's write the code so we need to add another pin I'm gonna call it LED pin let's give it the value 8 then we can go under the setup function I'm gonna get rid of the serial monitor we don't need it for now let's use pin mode we give it the LED pin then output to turn it on and off and under the loop function we are going to check if the value equals 1 using the if statement so if the read value equals 1 we turn our LED on using digital write we give it the LED pin then high to turn it on otherwise so if the value equals 0 in such case we are going to turn it off using the same command digital write and instead of using high we use low and that's all what you need for this project now our LED will turn on automatically when a person comes in front of it you could also use the relay which we have talked about in the previous videos I'm gonna add the link to it under the video description to turn on the high voltage devices like a lamp and let's upload the code to test it so our LED is off and if I put my hand as you can see it's turned on and that's for a period of time that we can set using uh, this potentiometer if you rotate it you can change the delay time from 0.3 second up to 5 minutes or 8 minutes I guess and there you go you could use this project for home automation now let's try to change few parameters 
like the delay time if we rotate this thing I'm gonna set it to a lower value and you notice that it turns on for about one second and if you rotate this potentiometer in this direction you can set it to five minutes if you want and finally let's talk about the trigger for now it is set to the non-repeatable mode and you notice that our LED turns off even if I put my hand in front of it and that's called the non-repeatable trigger if we move this jumper to this side we can use the repeatable trigger mode now when the motion sensor detects the motion you see that the LED is on and it's on all the time even if the time is over and that's called the repeatable mode and once I remove my hand you see that the LED is turned off and now if you want to make this project as an alarm system you could use this active buzzer and you don't need to change the code you only need to replace this LED by this active buzzer so let's remove the LED and you don't need the ohm resistor then let's connect this active buzzer make sure that the positive terminal is connected to the pin number 8 and the other one to the ground and there you go now we have an alarm system So I think that's pretty much it guys for this video. I hope you like it. If you have any question or comment, make sure to write it under the comment section down below. Also, don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel and hit the bell icon so that you get notified with my videos when I release new one. And I will see you in the next video.